What's up, readers? Today we are learning about greed. Do you know what greed means? Let's find out. Greed is a strong and selfish desire for possessions, wealth, or power. A desire to eat more food than is necessary. Greedy crow. Every day a pigeon used to perch upon the roof of a wealthy man's house. The owner of the house observed this for a while and then ordered his cook to hang a basket on a tree nearby the kitchen to serve as the bird's nest. The pigeon was delighted to have such a nice nest. Every morning he left his nest in search of food and returned in the evening. The pigeon lived in his house happily for many years. One day, a crow was perched on the tree nearby the kitchen. Through the open window of the kitchen, he saw fish and meat lying about. Oh, what delicious food! How in the world can I get some? He thought. These thoughts were racing through the crow's mind. When his eyes fell upon the pigeon, immediately the sly crow hit upon a plan. When the pigeon was about to fly out, in search of food, the crow flew up to him. What do you want, crow? said the pigeon. We don't feed the, on the same things. Ah, but I like you, said the sly crow. Let us be friends and feed together. The pigeon believed the crow and accepted his false friendship. From that day, the two birds were always seen together. Every morning, they flew out in search of food. The pigeon ate plant seed. The crow pretended to eat the same kind of food as the pigeon but from every now and then he would eat worms and insects behind his friend's back then he would fly back to the pigeon and say what a time you take over your meal let's return home before it's too late and so they did that the crow always accompanied the pigeon. The cook thought they were friends, so he found another basket for the crow to make a nest in. The crow happily said to the pigeon, Oh, it is wonderful that I have a chance to live near you. From now on, I will take care of you. The pigeon thanked the crow without knowing that he had a terrible plan in his mind. One morning, some fresh fish and meat was brought into the wealthy man's kitchen. Once the crow saw this, he was eager to eat them. So he pretended to be sick and they still in his nest. When the pigeon called him to go out and find food as usual, the crow replied 
in, in a faint voice. I have a in this session and I do not feel good today. I am afraid you have to go alone. The pigeon knew at once that the crow had a nasty plan. Since he had never heard of crows having indecision, he kindly warned his friend. Food for human beings is not for is not food for you. You so you should not think of taking theirs. Let's go out together and find some food for ourselves. You will be in trouble if you do not listen to me. So don't be greedy. But the crow still insisted on staying back. So the pigeon flew out alone. The, when the pigeon had left, the crow said to himself, Silly pigeon, a lot of tasty food is inside here. Why should I go to find some food elsewhere? When the cook left the kitchen, the crow sneaked in and ate up all the meat in the plate. The crow felt full, but still the greedy fellow tried to take a big fish back to his nest. But at that very moment, the cook returned. He grabbed the flying thief and shouted, You nasty crow! I gave you a nest, but look what you have done! You intended to stay here to steal some food, didn't you? The cook was so furious that he pulled off all the feathers from, his, from the crow's body. He then put salt and pepper on his skin and threw him into his nest. When the pigeon returned to the tree, he saw the featherless crow crying in pain. The pigeon knew at once what has happened. I warned you, he said, but you did not listen to me. You followed your greed, and now you have to face this miserable fate. Then the pigeon flew away to find a new place to live. Without feathers, the crow could not fly and was left starving in his nest. The end. So now you know, greed is the cause of much suffering. So don't be greedy.